Hey folks, my name is David Kern. I've been a teacher for 10 years, and if you're anything like me, you've caused chaos for your students by using multimedia the wrong way in digital spaces. So let's look at how we could use multimedia in FigJam to actually be beneficial for students' needs. Okay, multimedia mayhem. Let's look at the wrong way to use media in a FigJam. It's packaging a lesson with tons of links that look like these blue underlined boring sections of words. Here we have a couple of things that I want my students to read or watch about dogs. We got cats. We even got a link to a survey and it doesn't look all that great my students would come to loathe all of these links with text it was really hard for them to navigate and especially inaccessible for some students so i'm going to talk about today how you can take something like this and turn it into something amazing and that is the idea of one tab learning and multimedia done the right way inside of fig jam if you look here we got very similar elements to the example before but we got some nice looking cards students can see what is behind this link what's it about what are they going to be accessing when they click on it? And wait, there are YouTube videos that are played natively inside of Fig Jam? Oh my goodness, yes there are. And there's even some multimedia elements like polls that we're going to go over today to make your lessons as successful for you students as possible using multimedia correctly. Let's see if we can take this lesson, which is good, but give it a little love, to make it great. First thing, go ahead and delete those links that your students don't like looking at. Have the links ready and the URLs you're going to want to copy and paste. So control C, then go back to your fig jam and zoom out a little bit and hit control V. Boom, we got a nice made card for that URL. Let's go to this cat one right here. Highlight that URL, hit control C, go on over to your section you want it to be at, hit control V and bring it to where you'd like it. Awesome, amazing. Now my students can see how these cards look. You can also change how the cards are viewed with this selection card viewer icon. I'm then going to go over to my YouTube videos. Let's hit control C of this one with the dogs, bring it down here, hit control V and bring that down below. Let's line it on up. Let's go to the one for cats, hit control C and highlight that entire URL and then go back to fig jam, hit control V. If I zoom in, you can click on them and play them right inside of your fig jam file or fig jam file your students are in. They can also expand it to see it a little bit larger inside of Fig Jam so they can see it easier and not have to zoom all the way in. But these are great, they will play, they're awesome and absolutely incredible. And that is adding in different URLs. Now let's try to make this section a little bit better. We gotta have one more picture of a cute dog. So hit Control V, bring that in. You can also go into the Figma file viewer and you can add in or import new files that way, like photos. Let's go ahead and give this file a border. Let's make it a lot smaller so it's not clogging all the space. Let's go ahead and crop it so that it's also a circle that is uniform with the other ones. Make it a little bit smaller. And you know, we just can't have enough photos of cute dogs. Speaking of cute, this link is not cute. We gotta delete it, because guess what? We don't want students to have to go to another space. We wanna make a survey inside of Fake Jam. So what you gotta do is go down to this more section. You're gonna type in poll, and we're gonna look for the poll widget. When I go to the poll widget, I can then drag that onto the canvas. Let's bring it in right here and ask a question. What makes the better pet? And after my students have read and watched some videos, hopefully they have a more informed decision on this topic. I can type in dog as option one, type in cat as option two. I can also change some settings if I want to, but I'm just gonna start the poll and right there my students can vote. If they think that dogs or cats make a better pet, all inside of this Fig Jam file, that is nicely packaged and yes, very similar to the one that we have over here. And that is how you can use multimedia the correct way inside of a Fig Jam to really enhance student learning and engagement. Again, my name is David Curran. I love education. I've been a classroom teacher for 10 years. If you have any questions, please go ahead and add them in the comments below. Even if you wanna give a thumbs down, I feel like any feedback is better than no feedback. Have a fantastic school year changing those kids' lives. Cheers.